To make a long story short is an idiom that means to summarize a long story in order to save time. And while the meaning of that one is pretty obvious, there are a lot of common idioms that we use every day that don't make quite as much sense when looked at literally. And so I wanted to go through and give some examples and illustrate how they can be used to tell a long story with just a few words. Okay, so let's start with a super easy one to give you the idea. Let's say you go onto YouTube and see a new video on your homepage and you say to yourself, eh, looks pretty mediocre. But you watch it anyway because that's the norm for the website. And after sitting through the whole thing, you say, you know, better than I expected, 5.5 out of 10. You could say to make a long story short, don't judge a video by its thumbnail. Okay, next let's start with a story that you can sum up by using only one idiom. Let's say a couple of nurses are working in a children's hospital when all of a sudden a mysterious figure appears in doctor's clothing and starts healing all of the kids with just a few words and simple hand gestures. The nurses look at each other and say, what the hell? Wait, is that, is that Jesus? And as they say that, the mysterious man in scrubs and beach sandals quickly shuffles out of the room and the other nurse says, yeah, that was definitely Jesus, but I didn't recognize him at first because he wasn't wearing the clothes that he usually wears. To make a long story short, he was blessing in disguise. Okay, so now that we have those basic ones out of the way, let's move on to stories that you'll need at least two idioms to summarize. So one time I was in Amsterdam and I decided to go to the red light district because uh, I was in Amsterdam and as I was walking by the sex shops and back alleys, I ran into a man in a suit who said, hey, you looking to have a good night? And so we got to talking and eventually he cut to the chase and said, look, you have two choices. Our cheapest prostitutes can be had for a cent, but our finest will run you more than money can afford. In fact, our best escorts cannot be bought. And if you would like to sleep with them, I will have to take not only your arm, but also your leg. And so I stood there thinking, my arm and my leg, what an experience it must be to cost that much. And my mind was made up. To make a long story short, I told the man, if your finest women cost an arm and a leg, I'd rather a penny for your thoughts. All right, so let's try a couple stories that need three or more idioms to summarize. These are a little tricky, so I'm gonna do a short one first so you get the idea. So a train is set to travel across a large wooden bridge, but the base of the bridge is on fire and could collapse at any time. But as soon as you start to rush, suddenly you hear news that the train has actually been decommissioned, sold, and shipped to a different location, and there's no urgency to put out the fire. You could say, to make a long story short, we'll put water under that burning bridge when we come to it, that train has sailed. Okay, so hopefully that gave you the gist. Now, let's say a farm boy was out in the late morning to collect the eggs the chickens had laid the night before, and as there were quite a few eggs to be collected, he had to use both his hands to carry them all. But on this particular occasion, as he was carrying the eggs home from the coop, he heard some strange giggling from the bushes nearby. So he stood on his tippy toes to take a look, and across the hedge he saw two attractive girls laughing and eating from a picnic basket who caught his glances and motioned for him to come join them. However, in order to push the bushes aside and climb through, the boy would need at least one free hand, and so decided to try to balance all of the eggs in the other. This of course ended in disaster, and as he dropped all of the eggs on himself and fell face first into the brush, the two girls giggled once again and turned their attention away. You could say, to make a long story short, don't put all your eggs in one hand when they're worth two birds with one basket in the bush. And so then a few minutes later, the girls heard a noise coming from through the hedge, and when they looked over, they were horrified to see the boy still peeking through the leaves. To make a long story short, he was beating around the bush. Um, this is uh, me coming from uh, the booth, aka my room. I uh, thought I would sh share this these bars. Yesterday I painted the town red, hit the nail on the head, best thing since sliced bread, but today I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I missed the piss, took a hit on the wrist, ignorance is a slap of bliss. They say never bite off more than you can chew because you can't hold your dead horses and beat it too. It's time to pay, but two wrong watches don't make a right twice a day, so now I'm going to sleep tight like a snug bug on a rug hits the hay.